So in step one, what we need is a white cross and uh, we just don't need a uh, white cross alone, but a white cross that also has uh, its adjacent sites uh, kind of sorted out. Like by kind of sorted out, I mean, I'm talking about the centerpiece and also the bottom center one. Essentially, like I want the uh, white cross pieces to line up with the adjacent center faces as well. Something like this. And uh, this can be easily done uh, without much of uh, complications uh, once you get the hang of it. But for a beginner, this can again be tricky to master. So um, you just need to understand one thing that uh, no matter what I do in a Rubik's Cube, the only thing that remains constant are the centerpieces. And the centerpieces uh, in some ways, they define or what color the entire face is going to be in a solid Rubik's cube. So uh, that is something you need to keep in mind. And uh, so let's just scramble it again and uh, let's start over and try to solve the white cross correctly with the adjacent pieces. Uh, solid out as well. So I uh, usually I like to directly solve uh, the white cross and then uh, align the uh, adjacent pieces correctly. But uh, this is something uh, that is more beginner friendly. And again, I'll try to keep it in such a way that you don't need to memorize anything and you just need to uh, like uh, notice how I'm doing it. So that like uh, even when you try solving the Rubik's Cube after a while, you wouldn't... Uh, forget how to actually get this step done because this involves none of the uh, crazy algorithms or notations that gets thrown at least not for the initial steps so let's begin so oh, you just need to notice that the white uh, face and the yellow face are kind of uh, opposite to each other so uh, what I'll try to do now is I'll try to form uh, I'll try to for surround this yellow piece with four adjacent white cross pieces. In some ways, they call this step a daisy uh, kind of a face, daisy as in a flower, um, because it has the yellow center and four uh, white uh, cross pieces. So it resembles that. So I'll... I'll try forming that so that you can understand what I'm trying to tell you here. So essentially, this is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So you want to just form this in step one. Notice I don't need this piece. Uh, it just got sorted uh, automatically but yeah what I was trying to do here was just form this piece uh, even if let's say I have extra white pieces it doesn't matter uh, because there's a good chance they won't be aligned correctly so yeah so once I have this daisy uh, like face all I need to do now is I need to position this block uh, correctly to the adjacent uh, phases notice I told the center kind of defines the face. So if I want the adjacent faces to be aligned correctly to the white block, I would kind of need to align it correctly here as well because notice yellow and uh, white cross are opposite each other. So what I'm trying to do here is I'll try to align this daisy correctly one cell at a time, one white cell at a time and I'll move it back to the white face. So in this case, I have it aligned. So all I do is line it correctly and I have this done. Similarly, I repeat the step for other colors, uh, the other faces. So I'll try to align it correctly with the red face and I move it 180 degrees so that uh, I have these two complete right now. Now I need to just get the, these two done and for that 
I just need to get them lined up from the yellow side and I need to turn them to the white side. So three pieces done. One final piece is going to be this one, the green one. Yeah, now I have the green piece lined up and all I need to do is rotate it back. There you go. That is step one complete. Um, if you haven't been able to follow this, please try watching this again because uh, I mean, uh, do not uh, get disheartened if you're not able to get it right in the first go. Uh, it does take time, but uh, eventually with enough practice, you'll be able to get it in such a way that you wouldn't need to form the daisy exactly. You would uh, kind of solve it directly in the white phase itself because it's relatively a simple thing to do. So that's step one, a white cross and the adjacent faces, the center and the bottom center line for the adjacent face, the four adjacent faces. That is step one. Let's go to step two.